Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 81. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link, and then you can download this workbook. This is the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 78 to 81. You know, there's always cool things in here. I always have notes at the top and stuff like that. Hey, um, here's the uh, question. Uh, they had a little uh, table. And these are reasons for dissatisfaction. Bad finish, unattractive design, did not work, broken when thrown, no instructions. This is for boomerangs. This is actually from an earlier video when we did a Pietro chart. Pietro chart. And um, here's the frequency. So bad finish, we counted 20. 20 of the customers said, hey, we didn't like the boomerang because it was a bad finish. 10 of them said unattractive design. Then we had our cumulative. So 85 per um, the first three categories constituted 85% of the uh, complaints, dissatisfaction. But here's what this person asked. They wanted to highlight some columns with conditional formatting. So uh, for example, this category right here is 20, and there were 46 total. So 20 divided by 46 is uh, almost 50, or about 50%. And they wanted to highlight all of the columns that were 20%. So get this, this is an, in essence a conditional formatting for a chart. Now I don't know how to do conditional formatting for a chart except for to do a little trickery. And actually a lot of chart tricks involve making up some data series to uh, trick the chart wizard. So we want to, in essence, create a new formula in our data set over here and then add it as a data source and change the color. So let's I'm going to drag this out of the way just for the moment because we've got to think of a formula here. Uh, I'm going to have to scroll over here a little bit. And our formula, we want the number 20 or 10. 10 divided by 46 is going to be uh, greater than 20% too. So we would like the number 20 here if that divided by uh, the total is greater than 20%. But as soon as we get down here, 9, 4, 3, that, those are not greater than 20%. So we would like something like NA. So here it is. In this cell right here, whoops, equals if this right here divided by SUM, open parentheses, all of them. I could have just clicked down below, but I did it this way because I had a total right there, that 46. But so if that right there is greater than or equal to, and I have my assumption area up here so I can change it, this 20%, and when I copy it down, that's fine. That can be relative. Notice I had to lock that because as I copied down, I always wanted adding up all of them. So if that's true, then please give me this frequency rather right here. Otherwise, Otherwise, and we're going to use the NA function. That's an NA. That'll just deliver an NA. And then close parentheses. 20. So that formula is what we want all the way down. 20. And when we drag it down, just like that, I think I did something wrong there. Ah, I, yes, I did something totally wrong there. Lucky, uh, uh, paying attention. I'm going to click in this cell and hit F2. Duh. I forgot to lock this because that's the assumption right there. So that D13, I'm going to hit F4, F4 and lock it going down across the rows. That dollar sign's in front of the 13. All right, I got my fingers crossed. Control Enter and then double click and send it down. Sure enough, that worked. Now we have to add this data series. By the way, I built a text formula here too. Um, a concatenating formula labels uh, it's one of those very underutilized things in Excel, but you can make labels just like you can make uh, calculating math formulas. So when I change this, this label change, and we'll use this label one, two, three. In fact, I want to go all the way over here. I want to include these labels right here. I'm going to use the keyboard short. Actually, in 2000 and Three, you got to go to Chart Wizard and then step one, say column. If you want to do it the long way, insert. Uh, there's a chart group and you can do column. Then we'll do this one right here. But there's a keyboard shortcut in 2007, uh, Alt F1, Alt F1, Alt F1. I can see I hit help there, Alt F1. There we go. Now, um, 
what we need to do is change this to the secondary axis. So I'm going to click on this one because that's the cumulative. Remember, that's a, a percent there. So I'm going to click on this right there and right click. Now, if you can't um, right click, like get your cursor over it, you know there's a right click key. If you look on the right side of your keyboard in between uh, Alt and Control, there's a window key, but there's a right click key, a right click key. And we want to say change series chart type. And then I want to create a line. I'm going to select that one right there. Still need to do one other thing to this. We need to uh, somehow click on again. Now notice that um, I'm not, I'm trying to click on, but it's not working. Here's another trick. You can use your arrow keys when it comes to charts. Because chart, I mean the chart elements are sometimes really hard to click on. If you keep clicking using your arrows, you'll eventually see that the uh, thing you want is highlighted. I'm going to use my, um, once I have it highlighted, I can use Control-1 because now I want to do some formatting. I want to change this to the secondary axis. So Control-1, and I'm going to say put this on the secondary axis. And then at the bottom here it says Close. Very good. So now I have that. The only thing I need to do now is I need to uh, change the overlap so that they're overlapping. I'm going to click on the green one here, and I'm going to Control-1, and we need to do two things. Whoops. Let's try that again. I control F1. Boy, I'm doing all sorts of things here. Control 1 opens format cells, or you can right click uh, format data series. And we need to do th two things. We need to do overlapped 100%. And we need to change the fill color. I want to change it to red. So I'm going to go to solid. And then click uh, get some color like that. And then click close. Now, there we have it. Now look, we have our nice little label there, 20% of the problem. Now, if I were to come up here and change this to 0.3, enter, now I can see that um, with con looks like conditional formatted, but it's just that second series with that color. As soon as I change this, all of the formulas over there, the label changed and everything. Look at that. So now it's red. If I were to change this to 0.1, so then I ha see the three first three columns are highlighted in red, and there's our label. Uh, again, all right, that was filled with lots of tricks. All right, we'll see you next trick.